Hi and welcome to Rover Physio Test and Treat. Today we are going to learn about the types of muscle contraction and types of muscle work. There are two types of muscle contraction that takes place in the muscle. The first one is an isometric muscle contraction. The second one is an isotonic muscle contraction. Isotonic muscle contraction is further divided into uh, two types of muscle work which is concentric muscle work and eccentric muscle work. So today we are going to see about these contractions and muscle works with an example. Now when we look into the isometric muscle contraction, the isometric muscle contraction means there is an increase in the muscle tension but there will not be any change in the muscle length that is isometric muscle contraction. Isotonic muscle contraction means that there is an increase in the muscle tension and also there is an increase in the muscle length. So isometric muscle contraction and isotonic muscle contraction and further divided into concentric and eccentric muscle contraction. Now let's see with an example about first the isometric muscle contraction. Now for example let's take about the biceps muscle. Now this biceps muscle has an origin here and an insertion here. So now when we do an isometric muscle contraction the muscle tension increases but there is no change in the muscle length. Now when we do the isometric muscle contraction See, the muscle tension increases, but there is no change in the muscle length. This is called isometric muscle contraction. When we relax, the muscle tension reduces, still there is no change in the muscle length. This is called isometric muscle contraction. Isotonic muscle contraction is whenever there is a movement taking place in the muscle, the tension also increases and the length also changes. We will see with an external load applied, which you would understand very easily. Now let's see with this load about isotonic muscle contraction. Now this is the external load that is applied to the biceps muscle and when a movement is taking place, uh, when a flexion of elbow is taking place, there is a movement taking place and there is a tension which is generated in this um, muscle and there is again a change in the length of the muscle. So this is called concentric muscle contraction where in flexion of elbow, the biceps muscle does a change in the length of the muscle where the insertion point comes towards the originating point which is called concentric muscle contraction. Now when we come into eccentric muscle contraction, the eccentric muscle contraction also has an increase in muscle tension but there is again a change in the muscle length where the, or the insertion point moves away from the originating point and the muscle increases in the length that is called eccentric muscle contraction. So in concentric muscle contraction there is a shortening of the muscle length and in the eccentric muscle contraction there is lengthening of the muscle length. So this is the two types of muscle work that is happening in isotonic muscle contraction. So any activity that is done in a limb or in a muscle without any change in the muscle length which is, is called as isometric muscle contraction and any movement which is done with a change in the muscle length is called isotonic muscle contraction. Now let's see what is the use of these muscle contractions and types of muscle works. Now for example, if there is a muscle which is injured, then a muscle cannot contract. So isotonic muscle contraction or isotonic exercises cannot be given. So the only way that uh, uh, exercise can be given is by without moving the muscle because the muscle or whenever the muscle is contracted it is painful. So we will be suggesting for an isometric muscle uh, exercises, isometric exercises because isometric exercises doesn't have any change in the length of the muscle. So isometric exercises are advised for patients or for a limb or a part which is painful during movement. Then let's say about isotonic muscle contraction and concentric and eccentric muscle contraction as a type of it. Now in concentric muscle contractions what happens is that Whenever a concentric muscle contraction happens in a muscle, there will be increase in the energy expenditure uh, by the muscle, but there will be the muscle force that is developed in the muscle is very less in concentric muscle contraction. Whereas in eccentric muscle contraction, the force generated by the muscle is very high, but the energy that is expenditure happening in the muscle is very less. So whenever we want to train a muscle with less energy but can achieve maximum amount of force, eccentric training is 
used and when there is and maximum energy that can be applied but still lesser force could be generated on a muscle then concentric exercises can be used so these are the uses for concentric and eccentric muscle exercises so today we have learnt about uh, two types of contractions and two types of muscle work isometric muscle contraction and isotonic muscle contraction isotonic is further divided into two muscle works concentric and eccentric hope you understood and I hope you learnt from this video. So guys, like, share and subscribe for this channel and press the bell icon so that in the future, whenever we upload these videos, you will get a notification according to it. Thank you.